hack someone's ring camera. I saw something horrifying. It was just supposed to be a stupid prank. You know how some people can hack into ring cameras? My friend Johnny is a computer whiz, and he thought it would be the funniest shit to scare someone senseless by spying on them and talking out of the microphone. In retrospect, it was a terrible idea. Even at the time, it felt sort of gross. But we're 15 years old. Besides, Eddie was on board, and I didn't want to be the party pooper telling them we should like, not break the law and spy on people. That would be totally lame. Right? It took about an hour for Johnny to hack into the camera. The account was registered to a guy who lived over a thousand miles away, in Texas. The three of us huddled around the computer as the live feed loaded. What if it's like, people having sex? Score! Dude, no one would set up the camera in their bedroom. Who said they'd be in the bedroom? We were cut off by the video feed filling the screen. For 10 whole minutes, it was just an empty kitchen. Completely boring. It looked like a rich kitchen though, with all that stuff you see in Home Depot, that my mom would drool over every time we went. We waited. Eddie opened a bag of chips and started eating. SSSSHHH, they'll hear you. Johnny hissed. A few more minutes went by. Finally, a shadow appeared on the wall. Then a woman walked into view. Much to our disappointment, she wasn't hot. She was older, about 60 or so, with blonde hair cut into a severe bob. Looked rich from her clothing and stuff. She was looking back into the hallway, talking to someone off screen. What's she saying? Eddie whispered. SSSSSSHH. We listened, and finally, I could make out a few snippets of her words. Leave it here tonight. Deal with it tomorrow. In the freezer. Johnny leaned towards the computer, a wicked grin on his face. He opened his mouth to yell something into the microphone. But at that moment, someone else came on screen. It was a man. But he didn't look like he was her husband, he looked like he was half her age, and a foot taller, than her. A buff guy. The type of guy you wouldn't want to meet in a dark alley late at night. His pale blue eyes swept across the kitchen. Then he stepped in front of the fridge. The freezer, he asked, his low voice clearly audible. She nodded. He opened the left side of the fridge, presumably the freezer, and began pulling everything out of it. Not just the food, but the shelving and the drawers. Like my mom does when she's doing a deep clean. Finally, he stood up, brushed off his pants, and walked back out of the kitchen. When he came back, he was dragging something behind him. I stared at the screen, my heart pounding. A large, long object in a black trash bag slid over the kitchen floor behind him. He stopped in front of the fridge for a moment, then he crouched down. With a grunt, he lifted the thing upright and began trying to shove it into the freezer. Johnny, Eddie, and I looked at each other, our mouths hanging open. I knew we were all thinking the same thing. Is that a body? The man gave the thing another good shove, but instead of fitting into the freezer, it fell back out towards him. He dodged, and it fell on the ground with a sickening thwack. But in the fall, the trash bag shifted. And poking out of the bag was a bloody, pale hand. Johnny, Eddie, and I screamed. But as soon as the sound left my lips, I remembered. The microphone is on. Their heads snapped towards us. A pause. Was that coming from the camera? She muttered to the man. Someone, someone might have hacked your camera. It happens, he replied. He sounded fearful. But the woman didn't show an ounce of fear. She ran to the camera, her entire face filling the screen, jowls jiggling, wrinkled lips pressed together. Her heart dark eyes stared into the camera, even though she couldn't see us. And then she spoke. If you tell a soul about what you saw, I'll rip your fucking heads off. Then she picked up the camera. The feed filled with blurry, twisted shapes as it was tilted around, 
and then everything went black. I stared at Johnny and Eddie, shaking. By the time I looked back at the computer, we'd been logged out of the account. It's been three months since that happened. I eventually did tell the police, well, my parents did, but I don't remember the name on the account. And Johnny hasn't been able to log back in. Apparently, he got their info from a data breach at another company, and now that they've changed their password, he doesn't have a chance. He did pass along the email that was linked to the account, though. So far, we've heard nothing from the police, or the woman. But I'm terrified. Because just a few days ago, my parents decided to get a ring camera for our front door. And when I got back from school yesterday, I could have sworn I heard something come through the microphone, for just a second.